Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm Count Christo and this is the Light of the East. And right now, the Light of the East is burning red in the West. We are looting and pillaging our way through Iberia, burning down the dual kingdoms of Aragon and uh, Castile, not yet Spain. We are doing what we can to uh, steal all their wealth and uh, repurpose it to a more deserving owner aka us as we rampage through here. Can you go straight here? They can it would take a really long time. Uh, let's get this siege done. That is one that we want to do in the fullness of time. Good stuff. Okay. Um, if you didn't watch the last episode, it was more or less a smooth sailing campaign. Helping our cause is the fact that France is also at war with uh, Aragon and Castile right now. Due to the fact that France is allied to um, Sicily, and Sicily declared war on Naples. So in the same way we are at war with Aragon and Castile, so too is France. A level 2 Turkish production efficiency and tech cost advisor that is half off? Oh baby, yes please. I will, I will take him in a heartbeat. Excuse me? Is this him? No, where's the... He was Sunni. Did I not get him? Did it bug? Oh no, here it is. Sorry, I was I was saying him with for no reason, because it was a woman. Okay, so I just wasn't checking this one. Uh, yeah, only 30 and half off. Heck yes, we're going to promote her twice. So we're going to save up for that. Promoting this advisor costs the same as building a university in two provinces of average cost, by the way. <laughs> I'm just, just pointing that out. <laughs> That's pretty insane, if you ask me, but... You can see why, for balancing reasons. So what are we actually going to take from Aragon in this war? Um, probably war reps. Menorca. I'd like to take this province, but I'm pretty sure that would ruin us. Yeah, that would be, that would be too bad, I think, on, on coalition. Is Mallorca the right one? Should we take this one instead? The same aggressive expansion. This one lets us fabricate on Barcelona, but the problem is France may, might take Barcelona. That, and then... We're not trade. Maybe just cash? They don't have much cash. Maybe we take this and just make it a short truce. Mmm, annulling with England. That is... Uh, that is a good idea. That's going to seriously weaken them in the future. The rest of these worthless alliances they can keep. Yeah, that's the that's the that's the um, peace deal that we're going to go with, but we don't need to uh, don't need to actually send that yet, of course, because we've got burning to do. Should be good. Government reforms. What what is our next government reform? What are we what are we working towards? It's going to take a long time, like another you know forty two years, but we haven't looked at these yet. Ten percent. We could do states general. It could be fun, but I kind of like I like our current succession style. It works well. Aristocratic court is okay. The army, the the manpower modifier is nice. Centralization is pretty cool. And parliament, having a parliament would be kind of fun, wouldn't it? A parliamentary Turkish glorious empire. And uh, I haven't really played with the parliaments much in uh, in Mayo and Taxes. So, I would enjoy that. Wow, France is taking a fight there that doesn't look too advantageous for them. Yeah, France, why the heck did you do that? <laughs> I guess because they thought they had reinforcements closer by. Well, France taking bad fights is uh, is great. I mean, either either of these two combatants losing men is uh, is great. We are now getting those Sardinian separatists, um, unfortunately. Even with the improved communication, we're still struggling there. Don't spend money. We need to promote the uh, the new production lady. I remember. I remember. <clears throat> One of the odd things that can happen with wars like this is we siege down provinces like Jane when they had forts, so they couldn't be flipped by, by other fort provinces. But because we sieged it down so harshly, we destroyed the fort, and then you lose occupation of it. <laughs> so really, you only end up keeping occupation the same for Seville. You only end up keeping occupation of places with proper forts, usually, when you're being harsh in loot wars. Which may make sense, it's just a bit a bit odd, right? That you actually looted down the whole fort that you were supposed to be kind of garrisoning. 
Other great thing about Loot Wars is that you end up with a lot of army tradition. We are at 99.2 because you get a bunch for every fort you siege, which is... Uh... Obviously, there's quite a few of those just now. All right, there goes that one. Anywhere else we want to be sieging that hasn't been looted yet that we can actually get to? Not really. Let's just go help up here then. Okay. New trade ships. Go ahead and protect trade in the Aegean. Same for you. Protect trade in the Aegean. New transports. Can bring these guys actually. Well, yeah. Let's go. Let's go fight the the pieces. Ah, no, they took Barry. Well, we. This is the only province we were thinking of actually taking in here. We may not take it now that we're taking um, Mallorca, but these provinces over here all have some pretty nice wealth. These ones in um, what's this area called again? Galicia. Galley CIA, as they were affectionately known by some people in the uh, CK3, uh, CK2 community, rather. We're definitely going to promote this wonderful Zamain lady. Cool portrait. I'm not sure I've seen that portrait before. That's a, that's a good one. The, uh, the women in history ones you obviously see less often, and then the ones from the women in history ones from specific, specific uh, cultures you see less often still. I think it hasn't recalculated the urban gravity yet, because I think it should be higher than 535,000 now. But yes, there's nothing... Like, when can we build something here? Um, the answers are Diplotech 22 lets us build a better customs house and a better port warehouse. So actually, once we have the money for that, I should take it. Even though we know Renaissance is coming. Well, should I? Should I? No, we should. We should hold off for Renaissance. We should hold off for the Renaissance. We should hold off for the Renaissance. We should save. What we should? Yeah. Okay. Here's what we should do. We should start saving money for the Renaissance because this is going to be mega expensive. Yeah, it's going to cost us at the moment with no provinces embracing it. So if we look at this, we know Constantinople, probably um, Alexandria, and Chaldiki are going to all embrace it relatively soon and Cairo but with that even without those it's going to cost about 5,000 ducats which is a little mental <laughs> they're definitely going to win that so let's just go in here and then move east all right how are we doing on this loop pool we broken 10k oh baby we've broken 10k 11k loot pretty nice okay oh yes we did lose that siege as expected and now they're moving in. Gits. <laughs> but okay. It doesn't matter if they win that siege. Makes, uh, makes no bones, as they say. The next plan building in Istanbul, once we get Diplotech 22, is... There's no dispute. It's a 1,000% the port warehouse. Because having faster embarking speed, which is what you get relative to communication efficiency, uh, with higher tier uh, ports... Faster embarking speed will allow us to have better communication efficiency essentially everywhere in the Empire. Not literally everywhere, because some places are getting communication from Istanbul, sorry, from Constantinople by road. Um, I, mean, sorry, I say sorry as if, Constant, as, as if Istanbul is wrong, but... Um, so, but pretty much everywhere, we'll get better communication efficiency once we do that. So it's a, uh, a no-brainer, really. There goes Salamanca. Were we worrying... The hell is that province modifier? Cultural Uprising. I'm not sure I've seen that modifier before. Uh, so these two look like they're worth looting to me. Oh, I can't get to them yet. Why not? Oh, because there's a mountain range here. I was thinking I could go here, then here, but... Alas. Alack. We cannot. It's fine. We can just siege this down, which we've very nearly finished. You guys are going to arrive before the tick? Sadly not. Oh, well. There goes Cordoba. Uh, and not in our favour. Not that, that matters too much. Granada, I need you to accept vassalization. We'd need to double our diplo rep. It's not that undoable. Like if we got a, a diplomatic rep advisor, gives us 0.5. Nah, it's not gonna. We're not gonna be able to get to 7.5 diplo rep. But if once we take, actually no, once we take Mallorca, uh, we should definitely be able to vassalize them, because the distance between borders will have will tank. Once we get that much closer. And then, obviously... Um, well, maybe not obviously. Well, mm, I really want Granada to own northern Iberia. 
Which is going to be weird to accomplish, right? But, uh... The, uh... I think we're going to... We, yeah, we're going to vassalize Granada. We're going to feed them back their cores. Then we're going to... We're going to give them another province. Like, we'll give them... Like, somewhere we don't want to own. To where, where's our border that we're going for? So we'll give them Valencia as well. Like, we'll give them kind of all that land or something. Not quite all that land, not this bit. But we give them their cores, stuff we want to own in Iberia, plus Valencia. Then we annex them. Then we return province, Valencia, to Granada. Ah, that won't work. <laughs> How can we make it so that we get to feed them back their cores and we get to move them so that we own all this land and they own this land? There'll be a way. There'll be a way we can do that. But I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> Alright, is this place... Yeah, that's doable. So Argo has two. Could do with a siege here as well. Because we can't get there right now. Right. We'll keep them in tens so we can shuffle them around once this fort siege ends. Right. You guys are good. Should have you come over and join... The other transports. Oh, the Spanish-French war has ended. It looks like they pieced out early. France, that is. Which might hurt their opinion of Sicily. And they took one worthless province. <laughs> oh, no, not so. They also took uh, Barcelona. Which is not, not a great province, but it's not, uh, it's not that good. Well, that will, of course, weaken our campaign in Spain. Uh, the absence of French troops as meat shields. But not too bad. Are we looking at casualties, by the way, in this war so far? We've caused 1 million rural casualties and 0.75 million urban casualties. That's pretty high. <laughs> Lost Granada, one that, one that. There was one here we were going to do. Yeah, that one. But we're a bit close to them down here. It's risky. It's risky. I think we wanted to siege this one as well. Yeah. Have those guys come around. Do do. Okay. Yeah, I'd rather they didn't come in here, but the uh, the the vassalization of Granada is going to be really nice. Why are they? Oh no, loot scares making them hate us. I forgot about that. Okay, well, well, we should still be able to get them with, like, alliances and all that kind of stuff. Turkish Empire and Granada considers eight provinces. They're the same provinces to be vital interest. That's fine. We can just untick the vital interest when we, uh... Not Granada. What is Granada's vital interest, by the way? Interesting they don't... No, that's not Granada. Yeah, their cause. Unsurprising. <laughs> Most unsurprising. All right. No more coring for us. And the rebellion of the Sardinians is getting very close. They are going east rather than towards us, though. That's good. High naval attrition. Yeah, you guys can... Um... One of my trusted advisors. <gasps> no! It's our amazing advisor. Order his freedom immediately. Excuse me? I'm gonna... This is, a... this is another bug report. <laughs> His freedom? <laughs> Excuse me? I'm gonna send this in the... I'm gonna send that immediately. <laughs> Alright, science on trial. Seems his experiments <laughs> into the nature of life in the universe have brought him in conflict with Holy Stricture. Or his freedom immediately, we get one year of church displeasure, which is fine. Or we had twenty five percent chance he dies in the trial. Yeah, I will. I will suffer a year of church displeasure to definitely keep her around because she's amazing. She has uh, super cheap admin points, which are the most valuable to us right now by a long way. Especially because we're thinking of taking a freaking admin idea next again, even though we're four, even though we're six admin techs behind. <laughs> God, I'm stubborn. I think we probably don't finish this siege. 
given the high naval attrition. I think you guys have a pit stop and return home. Oh, we just made huge progress despite our navy leaving. <laughs> Weird. I guess we badly outnumber them. It's noticed that we badly outnumber them or something. We probably don't do this siege either. Just because once you finish most of the sieges, it's not really worth waiting on some specific ones. We're going to be able to get what we want from you? Right now, no. A little annoying. We might go siege these provinces again just to to make sure we get what we want. I mean, there's a few, there's quite a few sieges to be to be won up here. But we'll see, we'll see. Still making lovely cash. No more minimal. Sorry, yeah, we have minimal but not minor because we haven't looted as much. The looting is slowing down. It's unacceptable. Oh, hey, nice. <laughs> Our Serbian puppet got a pizza for us. Good work, Serbia. Give me a trade. Give me a cash. Ruin your alliance network. Give me a prestige. Marvelous. Bum, bum, bum. There's one. Good. You can actually just stay in Granada because I, I like... I like keeping diplomats in people we're trying to improve relations with when I don't have anything better to do with them, just because it lets me know how much, like, what their current opinion of me is. Which is helpful. In case you're wondering, you can't siege the same province multiple times in the war, so there's no reason for us to, um, you know, re-siege all these provinces that they've liberated from us. Would not achieve a darn thing. All right, we'll rally back the army, the armies back together, rather. Make sure we don't get any troubles from these Castilians in the east. And there's minor loot burden. Burden? Burden. <laughs> Come back. Honestly, the worst thing about loot burden is the uh, the spe siege speed problem. A new faith is born. That looks like Sikhism is on its way. Unlikely to be in any land we own in the immediate future. All right, so let's see. 49 days. They build the tra built the trade dockland. Let's see, uh, see where they go from there. I'm going to keep building in these provinces because it's important that we urbanize in the tr in the Tyrrhenian node to weaken other people's relative hold over it. Do we ever siege this one? No? I think that seems like a fine, fine target just now. Lithuania has sent a warning to blue hordes. We definitely must not rely on local militias. It really hurts in terms of manpower. Um... Especially because we get integration of the local militias for a long time. But the army professionalism is permanent. And the manpower is not. Doom. Yeah, chat has a good idea. The uh, the Serbians are panicking because we were going to annex them. They're trying to prove themselves useful. <laughs> by, uh, by taking those guys out. I like that theory. It's fun. That can be the headcanon for the Serbian, uh, the Serbian plea. There you go, we'll uh, liberate the faithful CBs. It's a shame. That was going to be useful on the... Uh, whatever they're called. Jeliarids? The ones that currently own Mesopotamia. Conversions have slowed way down. Why is that? Right, yes, church displeasure. Uh, holy crap! Oh, nice. Islamic Trust. Another 5% church influence. Sweet. What are you up to now? 75? What's what we were before? Mimar Sinan's Great Constructions. Is that our ruler or our... Who is this? Is it one of my advisors? No. Who is this? Until the death of Aludin... Oh, is the... okay, it's just our ruler. We get 15% construction costs down. That is... That is sexy. That's real good. I, should have, I could have read the event. That probably told me who that guy was. I was going like, who's this guy? As if there wasn't an event. That probably told me right in my face. But 15% construction costs is real nice. We're going we're gonna to get good use out of that one. Chat is telling me he is to this day a very famous historical Turkish art architect. Cool. 50 cents is a very big deal. It's less of a big deal than it sounds like, though. Because it's not, contrary to popular belief... 
because it's a 15% additive reduction. And, uh, you know, we already had a massive increase, additive increase. Uh, so you don't actually get an effective 15% cost reduction. We'll probably get more like a 4% cost reduction, but it's still really good. Don't consider me talking bad about the famous architect. He is a wonderful man giving us wonderful bonuses. Probably shouldn't say random historical people are wonderful men when I know nothing about them. He could be horrendous. <laughs> it could be evil. <laughs> Mimar means architect in Turkish. Ah, it's interesting. Is that from him? Or is that uh, or is that just he was called that because he was an architect? It's a shame we loot scared Granada so much. Um, but loot scared comes back relatively quickly. So that's not too much of a problem. Urban industry arises. We want cloth, please. And there goes the final siege. Giving us a grand total of 15,000 ducats looted. And 2.4... Sorry, 2.3 million people killed in this uh, war against Spain. Jesus Christ. That's a lot. We want this. We want war reps. I'd love transfer trade, but you won't give it to me. And we'll just take as much money as we can. That looks good to me. Coalition-wise, it's inconsequential. Um, what if I, like, also grab this one? <laughs> it's not inconsequential. So we'll stick with this, and then the next war we can take uh, this bit over here. No, actually, you know what? That's dumb. Let's take this one now. <clears throat> no, that puts France in. We don't need to take this one. I was going to take this one because it gives us access to, to Spain. Like, access to, to fabricate claims. But we can just, you know, fabricate claims on, on Sardinia and then get to war with all of Spain. So, let's not take that. Because they're not full called, so it's, it's really bad. It's really inefficient to take land from them now. Let's do this. And then instead... First off, let's just get these guys coming home. go and you guys are coming here to deal with the rebels because yeah now that we now that we aren't taking land from them we can instead take it from naples which will be more efficient no we're not going to take sardinia because they weren't full called um and we wouldn't have wanted to full call them even if we'd known they were going to come in gifted orthodox christian we will continue to make use of, of people until we have the next idea group fleshed out. We don't need to really worry about that. Sardinian separatists have moved into Aragon. That's a bit of a problem. Because if they succeed... Well, no, we can still fabricate here, actually. So them succeeding is fine. We don't mind if they successfully siege down Aragon. To that end, I'm actually going to drop these guys off up here. And let them siege down this one and this one. Because they might siege down this one. Ooh, Von Luxemburg... Oh no, the, uh, they've actually elected Wilhelm of Aachen. Uh, I'm going to put the troops here in case they go, because they, they've sieged this one, right? They could siege this one, then this one, then this one, and I want to make sure they siege both of these. All right, you guys can go back to privateering the Tyrrhenian node. And wow, we're up to 100 ships protecting trade here right now. God, thank you, Arumba, for adding the shortcut to move these, but then they ended up integrating into the vanilla game. It's such a good enhancement. You guys privateer the Adriatic. You guys protect the Aegean. So 102, with, after we move those 40 to the Adriatic, 103, realistically, we'll see what that goes to. Bum, ba -dum. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. I love the E4 soundtrack, man. So many thousands of hours. <laughs> I still enjoy the heck out of it. It's got to be the, the, the music that I've listened to most in my life, by far, is the E4 Europe soundtrack. We lost no trade income? It seems unlikely. We gained trade income <laughs> by moving people to privateering. I suppose, you know, privateering up here does weaken their transfer from traders downstream. So. Oh, right. Yes, sorry. Let me, pa let me pause YouTube for a second. The channel point betting is over. All right, that's resolved. Spreads have been covered. 
I know nothing about gambling. Let's, uh, should I be coring this? Yeah, let's cancel, let's cancel that and auto suppress and then core this. Excuse me, why can't I core it? Suppress, accept, here, core, cancel. Uh, cancel, yeah. You can just drill for a moment. Okay, good. Uh, next up. Ding, ding, ding. You are taking attrition, actually. Yeah, I don't like that. Not much I can do about it right now, though. <clears throat> well, shall we tech up? Shall we take two techs in... Uh, in Diplo for about 1,200 points so that we can build new buildings in Constantinople. We shouldn't. We really shouldn't because we really, really are going to need the money very shortly for the Renaissance. It's only three months till it's present there, which is going to be good. We'll see. Okay, Harold from Fazan. <laughs> Oh yeah, got one of those cores going. People should be getting relatively cheerful. Bringing back all that juicy loot. It's going to help local province wealth to no end. Obviously, it's going to be relatively diffused because there's a lot of provinces that will be getting it. But yeah, some people are going to convert to dualist Christianity. Whatever. We can handle it. We can handle a little bit of religious dissent. We can, we can sway them back to the one true path. They will, they will accept Allah in their own time, but they will accept him. Okay, so what's the next war? Really, we kind of need to let the Christians cool off a bit, don't we? Yeah. Well, sorry, we haven't actually done the peace deal. I'm an idiot. I thought, I'm just sitting here like we've already done the peace deal. Let's, uh, let's take this one. One of the few provinces we're allowed to take in, uh, in Italy. Can't take these ones. I think we can take this one. Let me look. Muslim expansion in Italy. I'm googling it. The Muslim conquest of Sicily. Was it just Sicily or did they get a tall pass there? They took Palermo, which became the new capital of the Muslim province. Expansion of the Muslim province. Muslim advances and the fall of Enna. The Muslims conquered Messina with Neapolitan support. Fall of Enna reduced the Byzantines to the Eastern Strip. Where is Enna? Enna. That's actually in Sicily still. Okay. Uh, fall of Malta and Syracuse. Right. Completion of the Muslim, Muslim conquest. I don't think they conquered. Okay, hang on. They've, they got to Cosena. Where is Cosena? Okay, so they actually... Yeah, they, they got to here. This is Cosena. The attack got to here, but it never actually fully captured it. So I think we're allowed to take Cosena. So the tip of Calabri. That's not what I'm seeing. I think it's a bit further north. Cosena is... Um, is like here. I think it is. I think it is this city. Oh, the north tip. Right. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> so should we take this? I think we take this. Puts Milan in a coalition. But if Milan declares a coalition war on us, it will just be funny. Yeah. So I'm going to slightly adjust what we're allowed to take based on this new knowledge. We get these two as well, which is kind of cool. We get more of the boot. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, so I think that's what we're going to take for now. Um, we'll take your cash and your trade power and your, you know. War reps. And, um, yeah, Papal State and Milan can join a coalition against me. Against, against me. Come at me. The city faces the Gulf of Toronto. Cool. Um, we could also take this one, which we will, for Romeo. Shouldn't... Uh, I can't, because that's over 100 war score. Shame. Um, is it over 100 war score if I take it directly? is not and that's not going to cause any significant aggressive expansion changes in europe is it like three put sienna in as well wait sienna exists oh i didn't realize sienna still existed even though they don't hold sienna that's funny 
Yeah, it's helpful having an Italian in chat. <laughs> Please forgive me for what I'm doing to your countrymen. <laughs> War reps, cash, land. This is, look at this. This is the border changes, okay? 2.5 million men died for this. 750,000 people per province died for this. And that's just the civilian casualties. Good lord. <laughs> that is outrageous. Send them on. Boom. Okay. They ceded them. Ooh, assimilate to the Principality of Taranto. Lose 200 diplomatic power and you get four noble res rebels. No. You can stay you can stay autonomous for now. That's fine. In the fullness of time, we will we will kick you out, but uh, for now that's fine. Gimme the loot! Boom! Thirteen thousand three hundred and eighty-five ducats. Twelve stability points. Oh baby. That's a lot of stability points. Boom. Are there any greater noble privileges we really want to revoke with that cash? I mean, with that stability that we're now pretty close on. The manpower one would be nice. Also, the yearly legitimacy and, and multiplicative influence seems good. Let's get rid of that one. They're really happy and they're not very influential. So they're unlikely to be able to resist us revoking stuff, <clears throat> which is good. Yeah, let's check it out. Oh, God, it's so good. Renaissance present. Let's. Freaking go. Bursa growing by 0.9 a month. Ismit growing by 0.8. Can we embrace it with it just in the capital? Not even close. So we're going to have to wait another like 10 years um, before we can actually embrace it. Embraced in seven provinces? Oh, of course, because we conquered provinces with it over here. And these ones, I forgot about that. It didn't occur to me. But yeah, it's now spreading in these ones pretty quickly. And once it's spread to, like, these ones it's currently spreading to here, we can definitely embrace it at that stage. But what this means is but it's going to take, you know, we definitely want to wait for Bursa. Bursa is going to be another nine years. We should definitely take Diplotech right now. Which unlocks uh, Customs House and Port Warehouse. So, let's do it. Customs House gives a... 10% urban gravity and one base urban gravity, as well as quite a lot more. Well, actually, this is not as good as this upgrade. This is actually dramatically... Well, no, it's about the same. It's not. It's just this one that's more different. Um, we are obviously going to build the port warehouse, which gives an extra... Only 5% urban gravity. This is not as good as I thought. It gives us 5% urban gravity and 1.5 base urban gravity, but it also gives a huge increase to uh, communication efficiency. So this is the priority. For sure. It's 4,000 ducats. So, uh, I mean, you know, we, we, we killed 2.5 million people to get 14,000 ducats of loot. This costs a quarter of that. Good lord. But uh, money well spent. It's going to be it's gonna be useful. Um, what else are we unlocking in the near future? Banks. But we can't build banks, right? Because to build a bank, you have to have an East India company for some maddening reason. No, to get a stock exchange, you have to have an Indian trading company. And I think that actually means the decision Indian trading company. So I'm going to edit that. I'm going to submod that because it's a dumbass restriction. <laughs> like what, what the hell does that have to do with anything? There was a stock exchange in France when they before they had a uh, an Indian trading company. But yeah, we can get a bank. Oh, you need trade ideas for a bank. That's interesting. Maybe we should take trade ideas next. That's not a bad idea, actually. If we took trade... I mean, banks banks are are really valuable. Look at this, 25% urban gravity modifier, 20% trade, 10% local production. That's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> I think we should probably take trade ideas. We should be good for catching up on admin tech. But realistically, if we embrace uh, Renaissance, we can catch up on admin tech in like literally five seconds. So we'll trade, I mean, is trade that good? 10% more income from trade. That's obviously really nice. And remember, additives are not actually 10%. It is impious, which is annoying. Global trade power 10% is pretty good. Chip trade power is very, very nice. It sounds like this means you get 5% more. That's not right. It means you get 5% of ship trade power now propagates. So it's, you know, it's an infinite percent increase because I think no ship trade power normally propagates. 
Merchant is fine. Um, we're going to get tons of merchants. Provincial trade power, power modifier up is obviously nice. Another merchant is fine. Global trade power 5 is not fine. Another merchant is fine. And the base, I think that's 30% more merchant trade power rather than actually 0.3, but I can't remember. Yeah, I'll definitely I'll definitely mod out the um the Indian trading company required. I you I could see an argument to say you have to have a trade company. Like any trade company province. Because that kind of represent that was a lot of this is going slightly off topic, but a lot of investment that happened during the EU4 period was in things like colonial endeavors and, and trade company endeavors and things like that. Like a lot of the bonds, like the bonds that led to the collapse of the French economy that led to the French Revolution were bonds in um, in Louisiana. And they were being they were bonds being issued by the company that was also run by the person that was the head of the like the exchequer, the head of the financial wing of the French government. And then he deflated French currency trying to prop up his own company because so many people had bought into it. And obviously, you know, it was his company or a company he was running at least. And uh, it attacked the whole French economy and uh, caused like untold casualties in Europe <laughs> through, <laughs> through like seven coalition wars. Anyway, thank you for watching YouTube. It's been a great pleasure to have you with me. I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.